Hello, everybody. This is Gary. Today is June 18th, 2019, Tuesday. It is 6.55 p.m. in Rochester, New York. Um, this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog check-in for today. Um, I take six different psychiatric medications, and they cause, or at least some of them cause, constipation and I had some really bad constipation over the past seven or eight days. I know that sounds like a weird thing to be saying in public, but the point is that psychiatric medications can cause severe constipation. They could um, cause an impacted colon, and going to the emergency room might be necessary, which is what I did yesterday. Um, I hadn't hit a bowel movement in six or seven days, and I had to go to the emergency room to get a laxative because I tried the over-the-counter laxatives. They didn't work, so I was given a prescription, and that did the trick. Um, and uh, when your psychiatrist gives you medication, be sure to ask them if it will cause constipation and irregularity because if that goes on for a long enough time, that could be life-threatening. And some advice that I can give is if you're on medications that cause uh, constipation, drink lots of water every day, eat a lot of um, fruits and vegetables that have fiber. Um, make sure, like I said, you drink lots of water and um, make sure that you don't eat a lot of junk food, like sugar and fat and salt. Um, because there's no need to go through what I went through yesterday. If I had a better diet, I probably could have avoided all the problems that I had yesterday when I went to the emergency room. Um, I spent six or seven hours there going through tests. They did a CAT scan, chest x-ray, then they did another chest x-ray, and then they did an x-ray of my abdomen. And um, in the end, all they had to do was give me a laxative. Um, so I'm doing better today, um, but it's a good idea to check with your psychiatrist when they write prescriptions, what the side effects are, not just constipation, but any side effects. Um, for example, if you take Seroquel, you might be tempted to overeat and gain weight. So these are the things you got to talk with your psychiatrist about and find out ways to avoid them. Um, again, eating fiber, fruits, vegetables, um, no junk food, um, drink lots of fluids, especially water, um, goes a long way with stopping constipation. Um, and I guess that's it for now. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section.